the United States defeat in the Vietnam War, more than any other event, brought Sun Tzu to the attention of leaders of U.S. military theory. The Department of the Army in the United States, through its command and general staff college, lists The Art of War as one example of a book that may be kept at a military unit's library. The Art of War is listed on the U.S. Marine Corps Professional Reading Program, formerly known as the Commandant's Reading List. It is recommended reading for all United States military intelligence personnel. The Art of War is also used as instructional material at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. In the course Military Strategy 470 and it is also recommended reading for officer cadets at the Royal Military Academy. Sandhurst Some notable military leaders have stated the following about Sun Tzu and the art of war. Quote, I always kept a copy of the art of war on my desk. General Douglas MacArthur, five-star general and supreme commander for the Allied powers. I have read the art of war by Sun Tzu. He continues to influence both soldiers and politicians. General Colin Powell, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, National Security Advisor, and Secretary of State. According to some authors, the strategy of deception from the art of war was studied and widely used by the KGB. I will force the enemy to take our strength for weakness, and our weakness for strength and thus will turn his strength into weakness. Finnish Field Marshal Mannerheim and General Axel Aero were avid readers of Art of War. Aero kept the book on his bedside table in his quarters.